Uh, can someone explain EV to me? EV stands for expected value. And basically what expected value is measuring is let's take luck out of the equation. How much are you going to win if there was no luck? If things worked exactly the percentage of the time that they should win, they should work, right? Uh, so an example is like, let's say that you go all in and you have 90% chance to win. Uh, and then 10% of the time you're going to lose. And there's 100 in the middle. So the way to find EV in that situation was 90% of the time you win a hundred. You win 100, so you'd win 900 bucks over those those nine times. And then one time, you would lose whatever you risked. So let's say uh, $50, right? So you go minus 50 one time. And then the other times you would win, there's 100 in the middle, but you risk 50, so you 50 profit. So you'd be, you'd gain 450, right? You'd win 450 chips, and then one time you'd lose 50. So you'd have a net gain of 400 in that scenario. Um, and so the EV in, in dollars of that situation would be, 400 divided by 10, and that would give you how much money you're expected to make in the long run in that given end. Uh, so the EV of a scenario is basically just taking luck out and coming to a financial or, or a mathematical calculation, a mathematical answer as to what is going to happen in the long run. Um, so let's, let's create another example here. Let me maybe do it on this. Uh, maybe do it on this scene, right? Queen three suited kind of sucks. Uh, so let's say we're we're in a pot, right? And let's just say that there's a hundred dollars dead, right, in the pot, and we didn't put anything in the pot, right? And then our opponent bets a hundred into the one hundred dollar pot, right? And we have got a hand that we expect to win. 50% of the time, okay? So we think it's gonna win half the time. And basically we need to call 100 to win the 100 in the pot plus the 100 put in, right? So we need to call three five suited is going to be a fold. So we need to call 100 to win 200, right? And we think our hand's gonna win half the time. So let's say we call, what's, what's the EV of this call? How much money are we gonna make, are we gonna make right? So in this scenario, uh, when we call 100, we're going to win what's in the, in the middle. So we're going to win 200. So we call plus 200. Um, call and win. It's going to be plus 200. And what percentage of the time is this going to happen? 50% of the time, right? Call and lose. It's going to be minus 100 because we lose our bet. And this is going to happen 50% of the time. So to do the calculation, to find the expected value in this situation, so we're going to go 200, bracket 200 times 0 0.5, it happens half the time, plus bracket negative uh, 100 times 0 0.5 at the time, right? There you go. Uh, equals our EV in the spot, our expected value. And so we can do that 200 times 50% uh, of the time is going to be $100, right? $100 plus negative 100 times 0 0.5 is going to be negative uh, 50, right? So minus 50 in the spot. Uh, I think that's right. Uh, brain fart. Negative 100 times 0 0.5. Negative 50, yep, okay. So 100 minus 50 equals $50. So in this given spot, if we are on the river, right, and our opponent bets $100 and there's $100 in the pot, and we think our hand's going to win half the time. By calling, we're going to make $50. Our EV is 50 bucks, right? Now, of course, that's not how it works in real life, right? In real life, we call, we lose. We lose 100, you know, we lose a full 100 bucks. We call, we win, and then we win 200 bucks, right? So in real life, it just, it just swings back and forth to where uh, you either lose 100 or you, or you win 200. But when you're doing EV, you're taking that luck out of the equation and you're saying, in the long run, how much money I'm going to make by winning this call? And there it is, 50 bucks. Make 50 bucks every time you do it. And if you want to adjust this formula, yo, Pac-Man Paul, thank you so much for the, uh, the gift itself. Welcome to this team, Steve-O. Pac-Man Paul, you're very kind. Thank you. So let's change the scenario here, right? 100 in the pot. Our opponent bets 100 into, a, uh, into the pot, right? 
And we have a hand that we think is going to win 40% of the time on the river, right? Which means they're going to win 60% of the time. So let's change the math, right? Call and win, 40% of the time, 200. Call and lose, 60%. So we're, we're changing this up, right? We're, we're going to say that we, we think we only win 40% of the time if we call on the river, right? And they win 60%. So let's do the new math, right? Uh, 200 times 0 0.4 that we win and minus 100 times 0 0.6. Uh, so let's do this. Um, we could figure this out in our head, but I'm just not going to because this will be easier. 200 times 0 0.4, 80 bucks, right? So we win 80 bucks when we win the pot that 40% of the time. And then minus uh, what we lose, so we lose 100, right? Minus 100 um, multiplied by 0 0.6 percent of the time, 60 percent of the time. So we lose 60. So it's going to be 80 minus 60. So in this scenario, we still win money, even though we only win in this spot, right? 80 minus 60 bucks equals $20. Even though in this spot, we only win the pot 40 percent of the time on the river. 40 percent of the time we win. 60 percent of the time we lose. This is why when you hear people say, ah, I got the money in good, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is, do you make a profit? And you can call on the river knowing that you're going to lose more than half the time, but yet you still made money. And that's what's at play here. Because if you're expected value in the spot, you make $20 in this scenario, right? Now, of course, we could change the opponent's bet size, which would change everything, right? Like it would change this whole equation. Uh, but like that's, that's the EV calculation. That's expected value.